Hi everyone, Greg here, and today we're going to take a look at the results screen for both the Netra and or Netrometer applications. And more specifically, we'll show you how to use the results screen to not only store all the necessary patient information you need to store as a provider, but also how to send that final prescription information to the patient using just the smartphone. So I've just completed a Netra refraction here, and what we see on the screen is the refractive powers for both the right eye as well as the left eye, and we have PD data in the center as well. Now by default, this will come out in the standard spherocylindrical notation, but if you prefer spherical equivalent, we can change just by tapping on the sphere icon to convert to spherical equivalent notation. Tap again to go right back. Same thing with plus cylinder. If you prefer plus cylindrical notation, you can just tap the sill icon, to get to plus sill and then to go right back. So you can use these to easily toggle back and forth. So the first thing you'll want to do after completing a refraction is to tag it so you know who the refraction results belong to. So in the field at the top for patient name, you can enter in the patient name. So I'll put my name, Greg Bell. Great. Now in the field next to it, we have the age where we can enter in the patient's birth date. Now this is important for two reasons. Uh, when we insert the patient's birth date, not only will it suggest an add value for progressives and or bifocals, uh, but it will also be the patient's login credential when they want to retrieve their prescription information from the Insight portal. So it's important that the patient's, uh, the patient's birth date is accurate, or at least mutually agreed upon. So let's just enter in a birth date here. So we can use these keys here to speed it up. I'll say January 25th, uh, and I'll make myself a little older, 1965, done. Set that, so I'm now a live 54 years young, and as soon as I enter that in, we have add value at the bottom. Now we can toggle between the add distance if you like. You'll notice we're here at reading at 15 inches. We can switch to computer at 20 inches, driving at 30 inches for the dashboard, or the smartphone at 10 inches. So maybe we'll leave it at a computer distance. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we'll enter in the patient's phone number and email in just a second when we, uh, before we share the prescription. So we'll get to that in just a second. But first, we'll wanna see how this refraction affects our visual acuity. So maybe uh, this patient came in today seeing about 2040. We gave them a Netra refraction and now we put the, these powers into the foropter, and now we can record how the patient is seeing what their visual acuity is with this refraction. So on the right eye, maybe we got them down to about a 2025, not bad. Uh, same thing on the left eye, we got down to about 2025. Okay, but maybe we can do a little better. Maybe we can get them down to 2020. So the doctor makes some refinements, and to record the changes in the powers, we can do this in one of two ways. We can simply tap on any one of these numerical values, or we can tap on the words right or left, uh, just to bring up all of the powers at the same time. So let's say, for example, maybe this patient needs a little bit more power in the right eye, so I'll just slide this up a little bit to minus 50, okay. And maybe we don't want to prescribe for astigmatism over here, so we'll take out any stigmatic correction, apply. So now we have a nice, even, symmetrical prescription on both eyes. And now we can record how this patient is seeing with this new prescription. So we'll go back into the visual acuities, and maybe we got down to 2020 here, pretty good. And okay, maybe this one needed just a little bit more power, and we got down to 2020 here. Now you'll notice as well, as soon as I make any changes to these numbers, the original measurement still stays there. It's struck through underneath. So you always have a record of your initial initial refraction result. So you'll see underneath it says minus 50, just struck through to minus 75. So you have a record of where you started and then where you ended up. So now once we're satisfied with this final prescription, we are going to want to send it to the patient. We can do that one of two ways. We can enter in the patient's phone number to send an SMS, a text message, um, or we can send it via email by entering the patient's email. Now, if we enter in the email, it will always default to email, but if you just enter in the phone number, it will send an SMS. So let's do that first. So I'll enter in the patient's phone number. So seven, two, great, done. And then we'll click share and we'll send it via SMS. So our SMS just popped up here. So we'll just click on the link here to view our vision testing results. 
click on the link. Now here's where we'll be asked to verify our birth date. So again, we had January 25th. And that was 1965. Great, done. Enter in the birth date and then click login. And there you have it. Here is our eyeglasses prescription right on the smartphone. We can also send this final prescription information via email. So I just want to show you another example real quick. We had our friend Luke Skywalker come in here. We've given him a refraction. We've refined him. We're satisfied with all the prescription values. So to send via email, we just need to enter in Luke's email address. So I'll enter Luke at inetra.com. Next. Great. Now all we need to do is press share to send an email. Now let's go check our email. So Mr. Skywalker's results have just arrived here. So we can just click on the email. Click get my results. And to access his results, you can just enter in his birth date in the insight portal. And there you have it, a newly minted eyeglasses prescription that Luke can take to purchase eyewear wherever he likes. If you have any questions about the results screen or about how to send or receive prescriptions using the iNetra phone, you can send us an email to training at iNetra.com. So from all of us here at iNetra, thanks for watching today and see you well.